Hello everybody, Talara here and welcome back to Chained Echoes. Kelian, Rob, and Victor have found themselves in the mines. They are trying to proceed through them so we can get past the Katara Mountains and hopefully meet up with the rest of the party at the Red Rose Inn. Um, we've gotten pretty far in, however, we have seen signs of a giant megaloworm tunneling down here. I don't know for sure that we're going to have to fight it, but I let's just say I've got a pretty bad feeling about it. Narzo, to dry and no gnarnum. Okay, I guess we don't speak goblin, so <laughs> let's hop on the lift. Another one of these. Alright, here we go. We got, who is this? Mr. Drillman. <laughs> a big scary drill, and we've got our map. The map is a lot bigger this time, and I see a lot more traps this time, which is always great. Okay, um... Let's get it going. This guy is a giga drill breaker. He's weak to wind. And he has two drills for arms. <laughs> That's all we need to know here. To talk about multitasking, we need to control this cart, get it through the mine. We also need to uh, take care of Mr. Drill Arms. There's a lot of a lot of moving parts here. I can't lie. There's a lot of moving parts. I'm looking at the map too. Unfortunately, it looks like many of the directions we go give us debuffs. I see a lot more debuffs on this map than buffs. So, uh, well, should be fun. <laughs> But as long as we're together, we'll get through it, right? The power of friendship! Going through a junction here. I think this is going to drop rocks on our head. Yep. The next is north, so we don't need to control it. It's good. Junction. Now we're going, uh, I mean, we could go backwards to get the health, but I'd rather just try to get out of here ASAP, to be honest with you, so let's go east. Rob's gonna have a quick snack break. I wonder what kind of snacks they have when they're eating, you know? Like, it looks like a little sandwich on the icon, so perhaps perhaps that's what it is. When they go for a snack break, they're having a little sandwich. <laughs> Seems weird that we would find prepared sandwiches in chests around the world, but you know, it's a video game. You can't question the logic too hard. <laughs> Alright, so our newest debuff is we are poisoned by the fungus in the tunnel. And next we're going to be squished by rocks, so... <laughs> All is well here in the mines. I love it here, it's great. Vacation destination, you could say. Alright. Victor, I need you to heal us, man. Everything hurts, Victor. Now, rocks should drop on our head. Yep, love it. Oh, Rob's dead. Oh dear. Okay, um... What is the play? The play is... Victor has to use that to drop our overdrive bar, then Killian will heal him with a quick snack. And we hope we survive. Beautiful. We do. Through another junction. We need to head east. First, I'm going to use Victor's Ultra Move 
to give us some health and TP restoration, as well as drop that overdrive, overdrive bar. And then Kelian's on deck to turn us east before we fall to our death. Oh, not ideal. I thought Victor would be able to survive that. Okay. Get up. Come on, Victor. Get to your feet, man. Uh-oh. Okay. Um. Oh, we are getting healing. If we can survive to the next junction, we will get some healing. Yay! It's a miracle! Oh my gosh! It is an absolute miracle. Is there only one way to go? No, we're gonna go to our death if we don't change direction. Okay. Um. Rob. We need to go north, man. Ouch. Rob is dead again. Just gonna go ahead and use the magic overdrive so we don't end up in overheat. There's literally- you need to control your direction, you need to control the battle, and you need to control the overdrive bar. There are so many things demanding my attention right now. Um, what do we do here? What do we do here? Uh, I think we should use Helping Hand on Victor. Victor's going to turn us west actually and we'll heal if we if we go west heal us magic plants oh thank god okay it's a miracle the only potential issue is this does look like a one way tunnel Oh no! I just realized what's gonna happen. We're gonna go in a big circle. Although, I wonder, if we reach the exit without killing this guy, I'm not 100% sure that we would be allowed to escape anyway. So perhaps this actually is the play, to extend our cart ride to get some beneficial effects so we make sure this guy is dead before we even get close to the entrance. Because this should give us some buffs. And then from here, it's gonna make us go south, so we're gonna go in a big loop again. But perhaps our focus should be on defeating this guy and not getting into the exit, because I don't know for certain that getting to the exit will even allow us to, to go. If this guy is still around, Mr. Drill. For another ultra move. This is this is insanity. I think this is the hardest thing we've done in the game so far. Is trying to fight this guy and control all of this at the same time. I feel like my mind is being pulled in so many different directions. It's kind of insane. We just need this guy to die. I have no idea how much HP he has left because he does not have a bar. Rob is just dead because I don't have the resources to, uh... Oh, no! I forgot to watch we were go where we were going on the track and we fell right off. Oh! 
Oh, that's devastating. I thought we were doing so good. I had too many eggs in my basket, too many balls in the air to juggle. I dropped one and now we're dead. Alright, let's try this again. Honestly, I might go into this with a completely new strategy. I don't know this for sure, but I just, I don't know, I have this feeling that if we get to the exit, we still have this drill guy in our face that it won't even allow us to exit. So with that being said, I feel like perhaps we should take an even longer way around to pick up even more buffs. So when we get up to the next junction, I think I'm going to go west because then we can pick up the shield. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Round two! Fight! You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if y'all if have played uh, Chained Echoes. Did you guys have trouble with Mr. Drill Hands here? Because he's certainly given me a run for my money. So I'm gonna go west this time. West switch. So there's nothing in this corridor. In the next passage, though, we are going to get poisoned. Ah, I triggered my trap. Very nice. Poison. <laughs> Woohoo. On the plus side, looking at the map, there's only one way to go, and it should give us a buff, which is always nice. Junction now. Give me that sweet, sweet buff. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love to see it. Now, I am going to give some sweets to Victor. He is going to use some magical trumpet. Poison is done, thankfully. So we're going north, but we need to go east, or we will die. I learned my lesson last time about that. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, we're good. The overheat sound is so dramatic, too. It's like, oh my god. All right, we're going to use Victor's Ultra Move, the Cosmos Orchestra. Give us some regen. check that we are in fact going the right way. Yes we are. Okay, we're good. Oh, I hit the button by accident. Ugh. What a waste of a move. Okay. May as well, yeah, keep going east here on this one.
Alright, just crossed another junction. I have no idea how much HP this guy has left, but, uh, just hoping and praying it's not a lot. This guy needs to die. Alright, headed south. From here, where there's only one way, but south. Here's another junction. Alright, where are we on this side? So we need to go... I'm gonna go south again and then go east. For this one. Ultra move locked and ready. Switch to east now. I'm gonna get this to be another Victor Ultra move. So all that regen is good. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but I feel like we're doing so far so good here on this run. Nobody has died yet. Kind of maintaining a steady amount of health and TP. I haven't uh, fallen off the edge yet, so you know, all in all, things things are going pretty well here. Oh yes! Woohoo! Wow, I I called it. Just just. A couple turns ago, I was saying how good I felt about this run! Mr. Drill Hands is dead, the sparkles of victory sparkle around us. And I guess, did we finally make it to the exit of the mine? All I can do is say, I hope. Yay, we did! We're outside! It's a miracle! We did it, says the merchant! Who am I? I'm the merchant you met at the other entrance. I followed you all the way through the mines. Yes, I was on that lorry thing as well. Oh my, nobody ever notices me. My mother was right when she said that I have the charisma of a box fly. <laughs> anyway, you need something? Poor merchant. I really didn't notice you, man, but I'm so, so happy we could help you clear the way. Wow, that was... I cannot lie to you, that last lorry with Mr. Drillhands was quite difficult. Uh, but now we get to learn some skills as a uh, as a reward. So I'm gonna give Victor mind up. I'm gonna give Rob agility up, and I'm gonna give Killian also agility up. All right, not gonna buy anything from him right now. Said we're gonna get to rock climbing. Is that torment on the horizon? Yes, a rare sight. Normally it is shrouded in clouds. It isn't called the Rainy City for nothing. Oh, wow! Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that's where we were trying to head before we got, you know, intercepted at the border. Hopefully that means the, the inn is somewhere around here. Whoa! Whoa! First we've got magic chickens! Mountain BBs is apparently what they're called. I'd like to call them magic chickens. <laughs> the egg orb is bursting? What? Nappy time? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Their eggs cause magic. And, um... Okay. Cool, you know, I'm not gonna judge how one conjures their magic. <laughs> this is great.
Wow, their eggs can use all sorts of magic. Like, that just healed us. The healing sparkles are not exclusive to the burbs. They are healing us as well, which is very nice. Thank you so much for your kindness, burbs. <laughs> I mean, BBs. You never know what's going to come out of the, these magical eggs of theirs. What I do know is there's only one left. Nice, thank you for the healing, Mountain BB. Honestly, I would fight Mountain BBs all day if it meant I never had to fight Mr. Drill Hands ever again. <laughs> These little magical chickens are a much better sight. Alright, magical chicken is down. Shrew has a lot of upper body strength because if I got stranded on a mountain and had to rock climb to my safety, well, let's just say I probably wouldn't leave the mountain. <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful view here on this bridge. We've got some more mountain BBs here and they've got little, little eggs behind them. Is that gonna give more? Common egg, yeah, okay. The egg is about to hatch? Oh, well, we don't want that to happen. Sounds like it's time for Killian's ultra move. Nice. Okay, that got rid of the eggs. It's just the burbies. Dear, Rob is down. I did not realize how much damage they were doing to us. Well, that's not ideal. It's Victor against the birds. Although, to be fair, Victor is uh, not as affected by the burbs' abilities as the other two were. Yeah, Victor must have resistance to wind. Alright, one bird down. Stop trying to make me take a nap! I don't want to! I'm a grown man! <laughs> Good gosh, this should uh, not have been this difficult. I think I probably made this encounter much more difficult on myself. But okay, we survived. Let me continue. Can you imagine walking across this rickety bridge when all you can see down below is clouds? Again, I'm happy it's these guys and not me, because between the rock climbing and the heights, well, I don't know if I'd be able to make it. Alright, I see a ton of ton of eggs over here. None of them are hatched, so that's that's a good sign. If we could kill them all before they hatch, that would probably make our life much easier.
Come on, guys, they're just eggs. Take them out. Oh, all right, one hatched. Two hatched. Gotta get get rid of the last one, right? All right. Now we only got two birds to deal with. Imagine if we had let them all hatch and we had six birds to deal with. That would make things much harder. Magically rain. We've defeated the flock! <laughs> Sir Victor? I just remembered this path. I've walked this way a hundred times. You've been here before? Yes, a long time ago, when magicians were no rarer than mercenaries. I'm an R, as you know, and I studied at the University of Nysa. I lived in a village outside the city and walked the way down there to the university every single morning. The road turned right over there, but now... Where Nisa once stood, there's nothing but a huge crater left. It is called the Great Chasm. It happened around 500 years ago. Once upon a time, Volandis was a united land. A neutral state where nobles from all over the world came to study the magical arts. After the fall of the city, however, various lords and ladies claimed the land for themselves. Since then, peace has never really reigned here again. What exactly happened to Nisa? I heard stories of an earthquake. This is one of the theories. It is said that the city, protected by a magical shield, sank in one piece and is still standing at the bottom of this crater. This should be easy to check, shouldn't it? Once again, you have no clue, thief. Climbing down the cliffs is impossible. The dense fog blocks the view, and the uncontrollable winds smash every airship against the walls. And if that is not enough, mighty wyverns have found their new home in the crater full of miasma. And even that's not the worst. Indeed, Asnadel has built its nest down there. Asnadel? Asnadel the dragon? One of the seven true kings? He too was attracted by the miasma and has been living down there ever since. He does what dragons do most of their time. He sleeps in a bed of ether. Next time you plan to raid a place, you could at least show some respect and learn some facts. Your ignorance is downright disgusting. Oh, come on. I have had enough of... Whoa. An arrow? Who goes there? Only a gang of common robbers, so open your pockets and show me your gold. The only metal you'll get from me is the steel of my sword. Sir Tama? Look at that! Little Rob! We haven't seen each other in a long time. You know him? A former knight of my father. After the war ended a year ago, he betrayed us. We did not betray anyone. It was your father who could not pay us. The only thing we can be blamed for is that we followed his lies for far too long. Let me guess. After the war reserves were empty, you were promised land as payment. But without a winner, there were no castles to give away. We were lied to and exploited. We were wrong to pay him heed. You do not deserve any payment. You were paid to win the war, not lose it. I see no lie in this. Keep your gold for all I care. We'll take the lad hostage. Try it. Just another word you won't be able to keep. 
Ooh. All right. Time for another battle. I, uh, I apologize. The last episode ran a little long, and I think this episode is going to run a little bit long, too. And again, it is completely my fault, because I'm just having so much fun. I lose track of time, and uh, it just feels like it's boss after boss around here, so there e it hasn't even really been a natural breakpoint either, but anyway. Sit back and relax as we fight this former knight. Tolma is weak to rock. Good to know. Bomb throw. Uh, what do I do with that? I can attack it. Okay. Maybe we should do that. Uh, first I'm gonna do this. Oh! He kicked it over to- over close to us! Okay, no, we need- we need to kick it back. Oh, it didn't do anything! There we go. Yes, it did. It's like a tug of war with this bomb. <laughs> when is it gonna explode? We're just gonna keep kicking it back and forth? Apparently, yep. Blow up! Nope. Blow up already! Yeah! There we go, finally! A little bit of back and forth with that bomb. This bandit lackey is down. Saw my left. a lot more HP than his lackey did. And now the bomb's back out. I gotta be honest, the bomb didn't even do as much damage as I hoped or thought that it would, so I'm less concerned about the bomb now than I was the first time around. To be 100% honest. Oh, and if it's in the middle, it just hurts everybody. Good to know. Okay. Hey, he's down. Just look at yourself and where your greed has driven you. Greed? Quite the opposite. We did not fight for money or for land. We fought for our homeland and for our lord. We were loyal knights. Your father was unable to pay us, so for many years we fed our families on honor in the hope of victory alone. And we did so proudly. But with the end of the war, our hope died. He could not keep his promise. It was not our decision to cast away the oaths we gave your father. No. Your Lord Father has been strangling our oaths for years by himself. Don't you understand? We needed food to keep our families alive. We cannot live on hope and honor alone. But you apparently seem to be living very well on blackmail, robbery, and murder. Do not speak of honor. You are deaf. And you are dead. Leave him, Rob. For what reason, Sir Victor? Out of mercy. Mercy? Get out of here. I spit on your pity. You will feel my vengeance. Remember that. Better we move on before more of them show up. We should arrive soon, right, Rob? What? Um, yeah, it's not far. Let's hope the others manage to get there as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've only got one path of fate left to follow. And that is Miss Sienna's. 
I'm going to call it a day here, folks, and when we come back next time, we will see what the final member of our party has been up to. Thank you all so much for watching yet again another long episode. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far, and I'll see you guys back here again real soon for another episode of Chain Echoes.